What's up, YouTube? This is Drizzle. I'm just going to demo for you guys this freaking amazing submachine gun that I bought in this game. It was like 2,700 caps off of a NPC. Uh, I didn't get it from a legendary kill, but it is pimp. Uh, let's find it. This is the Spray and Pray. As you can see, it does explosive bullet damage on impact, doing area of effect 15 points of damage, which may not sound like a ton. As you can see, I've got over 2,000 rounds for this thing because I was not using this kind of ammo prior to getting this gun, so I can just shoot and shoot and shoot. And uh, it blows limbs off of guys. Like, it, it's hilarious. Just, we'll, we'll show you. You'll, you'll see what's going on. What's hot in the streets here? Uh oh. See? <laughs> He's lost his arms already. And let's see. Oh, I missed. Oh, his arms and legs fell off. Oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> there goes another limb. But yeah, it affects like everything in an area. So, like if you shoot into the water with it, it'll blow up like you threw a grenade in it. It's kind of funny. Look at that one. It came with like all the best mods too, other than sights. I just had to put sights on it, which was really pretty cheap. And now I uh, have pretty much a beast mode weapon. It's too bad I'm not trained in submachine guns beyond level one. I'm mostly a pistol user, but I couldn't pass up that ability. It's the first time I've seen anything have that in this game. Most of the stuff I get has kind of garbage abilities, but this is totally different. And as you can see, it's pretty effective on our friends here. Oh, legendary. <laughs> Let's see what he dropped. Why is it always ghoul? Well, it's super sludge, but I mean, I'm always finding these garbage anti-ghoul weapons that do like nothing special except for damage. Eh, see, that's too heavy. I'm probably not going to keep that thing. Yeah, I'm a little over my max carrying capacity now. This other gun I've got is really badass too, but I can't ever find enough ammo for it. This thing here, you see it does a 120 physical and 120 energy damage, but it uses plasma rounds, which are really uncommon and expensive if you buy them in the stores, so it is what it is. I also have a freezing switchblade, which does cryogenic damage and freezes enemies when you stab them, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, the thing weighs a ton. It's a lot of damage though. I guess I could try it out. I am fighting ghouls in here. Uh, but I have to drop something, I guess. Anything. Yeah, I can drop that. That's garbage. Yeah, drop that as well. Okay. Let's give this the old college try here. Try to beat something to death with this sucker. Oh, yeah. I can see this is going to be fun. I don't know how many ghouls are left. that might be done in that regard. Uh, oop, shoot, my bad. There we go. I'm using the... There's a EMB version called Vogue on the Nexus that uh, seems to run pretty well. I think it looks pretty good. It's not as harsh as some of them, but uh, like it doesn't really hurt your frame rate. You see, I'm, well, I'm getting in the... Uh, it depends on where I'm at. Sometimes it gets up in the 60s, but if you shut it off, like I'm back up to like 90 plus. This being in 4K. Oh, well apparently we're getting on into the barracks. I hear something. That way. Here we go. Oh, bitch. Oh, suck it, Holmes. Yeah, I 
Oh, his arm came off. I have to admit, I kind of expected uh, pretty good damage from this. It already does like 72, it said, and then it does 50% more against ghouls. Kind of the perfect place to find something like this, I suppose. Yeah, no value here, really. What we got? Get over here, son. What's up, dog? Oh, it's a, it's a glowing one. Oh, bitch, I kill you. Please believe me. I love how they always carry spatulas and plastic forks and silly shit like that and wonder glue. I wonder if that's what ghouls eat. Wonder glue. This is my hot companion Piper. He's always in the way, but that's okay. Now I have to get out of here. Let's see. Out into the training yard. Damn loading screens. One of these days I'll... Oh no. I don't know what's going on, but I can't change weapons half the time. It seems like there's a reduction in load times for that. There we go. Anywho. Now that that's over with. something wrong with it's like a glitch in this game with the weapons I don't know what the deal is I want to see if I can find someone to shank with this thing here yeah get that you like that switch blade up in your mouth you like it oh that's it for him. Anyways, guys, this was just, like I say, a short demo to kind of show off that badass submachine gun that I had picked up. And uh, just kind of demo the graphics again, which I think are getting pretty decent. I've done, like, some other mods. You can see, like, the trees have leaves now, and there's green, uh, you know, the, gr the grass. This is, like, touch of green mod that makes there there's some grass returning, and some plants are starting to come back to life. I don't really know. Uh, if that would be the case 200 years after a nuke went off or not, but that's uh, what they're claiming it anyway With the mods is that some plants would be coming back, which they might so Anywho, I got like black armor mods and so forth. I'll go ahead and put up another video here shortly uh, Just wanted to demo that gun you guys have a great day. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and or subscribe. Have a good one This has been Drizzle